in theory, I think there is a nine out of nine probability that math is pretty awesome. So in this video, we're gonna talk about theoretical probability and make sure you fill out the guided notes that were provided. If you need to pause or rewind the video in order to complete the notes, please feel free to do so. So let's first talk about what theoretical probability consists of. So when all possible outcomes are equally likely, the theoretical probability of an event is the ratio of the number of favorable outcomes to the number of possible outcomes. So it's a comparison to the number of favorable outcomes to the number of possible outcomes. And in our probability equation, we use P to equal probability. This is the theoretical probability equation. So P of an event, or the probability of an event, is the number of favorable outcomes over the number of possible outcomes. So let's look at a video example. You randomly choose one of the letters shown. What is the theoretical probability of choosing a vowel? So a vowel is A, E, I, O, U. So looking at these blocks, I have an E, which is a vowel, an O, which is a vowel, and another E, which is also a vowel. So the number of favorable outcomes is three because there are three vowels. The number of possible outcomes is seven because there are seven total letters. The probability of choosing a vowel is three out of seven or about 43%. Going back to the likelihood of something happening, this is close to something that is equally likely. Now, to convert from fraction to percent when calculating theoretical prob probability, divide numerator into denominator. So in this case here, three divided by seven, and then times 100, is about 43%. The eight rounds the two up to about 43%. Now let's look at a couple more examples. So a month is chosen from a year. What is the probability of selecting March? Well, you can only select March one once. So there's a one out of 12 probability of selecting the month of March. There's one month of March and 12 months total. Another example is you roll a six-sided dice. What is the probability of rolling a three? Well, on a six-sided dice, there's only one three, and there's six sides to your dice, so there's a one out of six probability of selecting a three. To convert that to a percent, I'll do one divided by six times 100. So there's about 16% probability of rolling the number three. We'll look at one more example. So a card is chosen at random from a standard deck of playing cards. What is the probability of picking a red card? Well, in a standard deck of cards, we have two options. The cards can either be black or red, and there's only one color out of two. So the probability of picking a red is one out of two, or 50% probability. So you're equally likely to pick a black card 
as you are a red card. Okay, so this concludes your video on theoretical probability. There is a student example on the guided notes that I want you to complete that we will go over in class tomorrow. If you need to rewind the video at any time to review any of the information, please feel free to do so. All right, have a great evening and I will see you tomorrow.